What's up everybody, it's Mark from 403 Fauna. On today's video, I wanted to share with you my latest unboxing. This one comes from Bod's Exotic Reptiles and I won it on a morph market auction. So I hope you kick back and listen in and enjoy the video. Okay, I think I'll speed up this unboxing part and just talk about this acquisition when it's out. So let's check out what I won. Well, that's got to be one of the easiest opening packages and it's perfectly secure. So, you know, my last unboxing was a Trojan and this one puts clown in it. So let's take a look at this Trojan clown from Bod's Exotic Reptiles. Okay, let me pull out the tub and we'll talk about this girl here. So as you know, I'm a big fan of the Trojan gene and totally love clown. Everyone loves clown. So to grab this girl is just going to speed up my Trojan projects. Already got some good size on her. I won this girl on the morph market auction and Jeremy, he put a reserve on it. And I've noticed in the auctions that reserves, you know, you gotta have the right buyer for a reserve. And guess who was that right buyer? It was me. So it was actually scheduled to end at 5 a.m. here on the West Coast. So I set my alarm at 4.58 just to wake up right before and see if someone put a bid on it. And no one bid on it. So, you know, I put that, that minimum bid, which met the reserve and won this stunning Trojan clown girl. So we can see how we get those rusty reds in the black. So Trojan really gives a lot of the, the blushing, the rusty red blushing. Got this beautiful head that the clowns have. Pretty reduced pattern on this girl. I love how the belly here, the speckly on the belly, it's really cool. So yeah, excited for this girl. I, I need more visual clowns in my collection. I only have three actual female visual clowns, which are breeding for me. And I'm not quite 100% that they'll go for me. In fact, after we look at this girl, we'll, we'll get an update on the breeding season here at 403 Fauna. But Big thank you to Jeremy and Jeannie Bod of Bod's Exotic Reptiles for this beautiful Trojan clown girl. Now, I personally have not had good success on both the selling and buying side of Morph Market auctions, but this is definitely one that I came out a winner on. So let's get an update on the breeding season here at 403 Fauna. So a little update on the pairing between the Firefly VPI Xanthic 50% possible head puzzle with the female Fire Yellow Belly Hidden Gene Woma Fader. And they're locked up. Excited about this pairing? I think this guy will prove out. Good job, buddy. This girl right here will be giving me my first clutch of the season. She is a red stripe. And we can see she's dug out this really nice nest here. Pre-lay shed right there last week. So by the end of this month, I'll have my first clutch of eggs. And she was bred by Pastel Banana, VPI Xanthic Genetic Stripe. I know banana and red stripe go really well together. 
So even though there will be no visual VPIs or genetic stripes, they're going to be incredibly beautiful still. I love red stripe. Now let's take a look at a girl who's going to be going into the rotation this week. This girl here is going to make it into the rotation this week. This is a Mojave Nanny Yellow Belly Het Desert Ghost. She produced some incredible babies for me last year. I was going to hold off on her because she wasn't eating well, but then she really started to kick it in recently, it is laying on the cool side. So I'm going to give her a shot this year. And of course, I want to make more Desert Ghosts. So the Pastel Super Enchi Desert Ghost Het Hypo will be going with her. I think she'll make some cool babies. In fact, let's take a look at the Desert Ghost that she produced last year. Here goes an update on the incredible Desert Ghosts produced by that mother last year. This one right here, to my best guess, is Pastel Mojave Nanny Leopard Yellow Belly Desert Ghost Head Clown. So I think we hit the all gener with this one. Man, Desert Ghost is incredible. Not too much blacks to play with the contrast on this snake with all these jeans in it, but still an incredible snake. Look how light that head is. Man, I really love Desert Ghost and, you know, it had that hiccup last year with the genetics, but man, they're stupendous animals. This one right here, Mojave Pastel Leopard Desert Ghost, 100% Het Clown. These are both girls. So having these as part of the Desert Ghost Clown Project, man, that just gives me such versatility. Incredible babies. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Once again, if you're not checking out the Fauna Topic on Fridays, Come visit us 4 o'clock Pacific for Catch the Replay. Last week we talked about feeding ball pythons. I hope you had a hope you have a great week. Take care everybody and be safe.